Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I played last week. Now I was playing as black here, my open starts with d4, I respond with c6, open goes for c4 and here I play d5, asking open to trade but open plays a knight to c3 instead. And so I went with e6 first. Generally, the idea is to develop the bishop early uh, and then play uh, e6. But here I thought, let me just not take because eventually opponent's plan is going to be getting the queen here onto b3, attacking my opponent b7. And the only defender to the b7 is my bishop. So I, let's not take it out and then regret that. So here open plays e4 asking me to trade and I do, did trade here. Open takes back with the knight. And here I developed the knight on f6, asking for another knight trade now. Open goes back. And here I play bishop to b4, pinning the knight. Open plays a knight to f3. And I castle here. Open goes with bishop to e2, preparing to castle. Here I played a knight to e4, pressurizing further on the knight on c3. Open plays a queen to c2, here I trade, take back, take with the knight, open takes back with the pawn, and I have to move the bishop backwards, so I got it back on to e7, uh, preparing uh, for maybe a bishop trade later on, once the knight is uh, maneuvered here from uh, from here, uh, open castles on the king's side, and I played knight to d7, trying to put my knight now on to f6, open plays a bishop to d3, uh, eyeing this pawn, which is a weakness right now, can be captured. So I went with knight to f6. Now open cannot capture that. Here comes bishop to g5, uh, so that now uh, after some trade, uh, open will be able to get the extra pawn. So I played h6 here, kicking the bishop backwards. Bishop goes to h4 there. And I respond with queen to a5. Now it's, it's kind of a weird move because it's not doing anything. Uh, I just want to develop my queen here. Uh, also just trying to swing over eventually and try to create some attack on the king's side because uh, generally when the queen comes on a5 there can be only two purposes uh, one of them can be hitting the diagonal so the pawn can be attacked but i have only one attacker and it's defended with the queen so no point and the other can only be to swing over the queen onto the other side of the board uh, and if after this move often gives a thought about it it's clearly visible that where the queen can go. Queen cannot go on any of these squares. Uh, so the only square remaining is h5 uh, there. So queen h5 is coming, most likely. Open uh, just ignores the fact and plays uh, rook to d1. Uh, and here I go with queen to h5, trying to swing over. Open uh, pushes the bishop backwards now onto uh, g3. And here I respond with a6. Yes, it's a passive move. Uh, I just wanted to hold on into the situation and see what happens next. Open gets the rook backwards now onto b1. Uh, again, trying to make sure that my bishop cannot go anywhere and has to babysit the pawn on b7. I thought, let me just remove that uh, that constant uh, pressure on my bishop to stay its on, on its original position by placing b5. Now, open can take or proceed. Open does take. I take back with the a pawn opening up the A file as well for the attack. But again, uh, this is kind of not helping me out because it's already defended with the queen. Now, a knight to E5 by opponent, uh, trying to attack the pawn, which is not defended. And here comes a bishop to B7, trying to defend the pawn. Now, bishop goes back for the opponent uh, on to E2, hitting my queen. And now, if you see, queen doesn't have much options remaining. Uh, anything from here can be captured. A queen, I cannot take the bishop because queen hits it. I cannot get it back onto g6 as well because again, queen, uh, sorry, the knight can take it. Uh, so the only square, a uh, couple of squares I have is queen on g5 or on f5. Uh, f5. Now I thought uh, g5 is interesting, but again, I can be chased away with the next move, which is pawn forward f4. And then my queen is kind of trapped. Uh, or I have to eventually move it on to f5. So rather put it on f5, uh, asking for queen exchange as well, which helps me if that happens because the queen is constantly pressurizing me. Uh, also here, I cannot take the pawn because of the queen standing there. So it's kind of a tricky situation. So I want to get out of it. 
by offering queen exchange. So if my opponent does trade the queen, suddenly you see the evaluation bar change. And now it's uh, slightly in favor of black, whereas before the queen trades, uh, white was ahead in the game. So I place my queen onto f5, but here comes the final move of the game uh, from the opponent side, placing the bishop onto f3, forgetting that the queen is not defended. Opponent's idea was nice, trying to capture the extra pawn with the bishop, uh, and I don't have second defender to it. But Oppen forgot that the queen is not defended, and I take on the queen, and here my opponent resigns. So I was playing against a 2100 plus here uh, that one week ago, and my opponent blundered the queen eventually. So things like that can happen. You have to be aware of the situation all the times. Try to make sure that whenever a piece moves, you check your undefended pieces as well. Uh, because sometimes you are so much confident about your pieces that you just try to attack, attack, attack. But then you forget that your main piece, uh, which was supportive to that attack, is no more defended. I hope that was a good lesson and you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.